Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a beautiful Thursday morning here in Austin, Texas. Uh, just got done with a 10 and a half mile run and uh, the buildup begins. Uh, 16 days until Leadville Silver Rush, 50 miler. So uh, uh, I'm happy with the result for the day. Uh, getting back into uh, fighting shape. Uh, thoughts on my mind today. A couple things. Uh, when my run started, it started with rain. And it kind of rained in and off in, in the middle of this run. And, uh, you know, it's something that I always talk about. A lot of times we got to go into the storm. We can't avoid the storm. We got to get into that storm because in the storm is where we find our growth. We found our power, find our strength and things of the sort. So I was just happy that I was able to get into it. Uh, there was a young man that came out a little bit earlier and uh, I saw him, he was walking the lap while I was running. And uh, something that I saw was he was in his phone. Um, and I think it was amazing first and foremost that he come out. Anyone that just comes out that has the courage to come out and get work done in, I'm always proud of you. I always like, I always feel this excitement in me. But there's this other part sometimes that I find of running, and especially running outside or walking outside or things of the sort is taking into your environment. There's power in that. There's seeing the beauty around you. There's power in that. And he spent a lot of time on his phone. And uh, I know the feeling, because I've done it and do it at times. Uh, but I was just hoping like, man, look at your surroundings. See what's going on. See the beauty that's around you, man. There's power. There's, there's, there's joy. There's beauty in all of this. Uh, and then it started raining again and he left to go back. And those are the moments sometimes that I look and I'm like, man, I'm glad of who I am. Because like in my past, I could run away from the problem and not get the work done. And I, I, I can tell and see that I'm changing. Uh, I was thinking about social media. And I'll tell you, for me, I use social media a lot. I use it to spread my message. I use it to help hold me accountable. Um, I use it for the, even the friends that I take or the people that I follow to motivate me, to push me in ways that sometimes I just can't do on myself. But what I will tell you is, I'm more cognizant of the time that I spend on it. Generally, if I'm not posting these videos, I don't spend much more time on it any longer. Because the problem isn't social media, it's the problem is how we affect us. And I'm being more conscious of those things. And the last thing I was thinking about is, man, a lot of us want to be acknowledged, seen, loved, pampered, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But something I was thinking about recently, I was like, man, over these last, most specifically these last year and a half, two years, but really over these last four years, something that I realized is I don't need the attention. For the first time, first time in my life, I don't need the attention. I don't need to fight for my parents' love. I don't need to fight for, to be acknowledged. I don't need to be, I don't need to fight to be seen. If anything, I need that in myself. And that's my validation. I need that in my God. And that's my validation. But this external BS, like, don't get me wrong, it's nice to be acknowledged. It's nice for all of those things. That's cool. But when you come to these places where you need it, you're never going to find full satisfaction in yourself. Just my thoughts. Be blessed today and every day. Talk to you soon.